Hey, so what's going on Warfighters? My name is Pwnstar and I'm here to tell you a little bit more about Medal of Honor Warfighter and teach you about the new game type, Home Run. So get ready, get excited, because this is, in my opinion, the best game type in the game. And I'm going to tell you why, and hopefully you guys can understand where I'm coming from. So I'm going to explain the game type, what you need to do to win, and why I think it's such a valuable asset and one of the best game types that they brought into Medal of Honor Warfighter. So without further ado... The game type is simple. There are two locations on the map where the attacking team can grab the flags. As you can tell on my screen right now, there is an A flag and a B flag. The objective for the attackers is to obviously retrieve that flag, take it back to home base, score a couple points, drink a few beers, I, I don't know, eat some chicken wings, whatever it is you want to do. So the game type is quite straightforward. It's a mixture between search and destroy for those guys that have played Call of Duty before and capture the flag. So it's basically a borderline attack and defend type game type where there are two flag locations on the map for the attackers to try to retrieve and return back to home base. And the defenders are supposed to thwart the enemy from doing so. So the objective for the defenders are to basically exterminate the attacking team. That's how they gain points. Now what makes it so uh, challenging is the way the game is set up and how the points are actually scored. Now if I remember correctly, any team that successfully wipes out the other team basically gains one point towards the score. It's a race to 10 points overall with a total of up to 10 rounds to hit that 10 point quota. Now, if you guys are curious about, wow, what do you mean? Why are there 10 rounds if you need 10 points unless you win all 10 rounds? It's not necessarily how it works. One way to get two points in a round is to actually successfully capture the flag and return it back to base. Now, if I remember correctly, that's how it's done. So say you're the attacking team because there are five rounds for attackers and five rounds for defenders. Say you successfully return and capture the flag in all five of your attacking things. Thus, you have five rounds, 10 points, game over. You successfully just straight swept the enemy team. And that definitely brings a competitive aspect to this game, which is something that I was really, really looking forward to see if they were actually going to do so. And right here, this is what I'm talking about. I'm peeking this corner, which is a great feature added into this game, the ability to peek. And it's going to be fully utilized in this game type because this is going to be a competitive game fight. And the reason I'm going to tell you to be cautious and patient what makes that so valuable, like this peeking right here, is because you have one life to live. Each round gives you one life, so you got to make it count. It's going to kind of prevent those guys that like to pub stomp and rush right in there and die over and over again because nobody wants to wait a minute or two until they can play again. So everybody likes the fast-paced action, so it's going to come down to not only gun skill, but patience, teamwork, communication, experience is going to be what's so valuable in this. Because there's not repetitive spawns over and over, this adds that intelligence type feel that is great for a video game where you have to actually think to outplay your enemy rather than spawn, run towards their location, and shoot and hopefully get the gun fight down that's what i like to see brain dead people can do that man there's no issue but this game type is for skilled players it teaches you to become better at the game it'll teach you to hone in and become a better person a better team player better fire team buddy it's going to help you become a better player and what i love about this so much is the experience that you're going to gain from this this does bring a competitive aspect to this game and i think they were trying to focus on the potential um a growth of adding some sort of an esports factor to this game. When you have a game type like this where you have one life to live, you have 10 rounds, 5 attacking, 5 defending, multiple ways to earn points, and that brings a competitive aspect to this game that I was kind of worried about it would not have. I mean, from the beta, we played Hotspot, which I was expecting to be its only new game type. I heard rumors of Team Deathmatch, but Home Run kind of slipped by. I had no clue about this game type. And in the end, I was surprised and actually impressed at the end of this one. I absolutely love this game type. It is my favorite. I love to see skill on skill. Another thing that's not going to be a big factor is, as you can tell in the top left, kill streaks. You're not going to need to worry about support actions or anything like this. This is real raw teamwork. This is going to be skill on skill, gun on gun. None of that, you know, simple, fast-paced pub stuff. This is going to be where skilled players go to become better and to get a real challenge. And I can't wait to see this happen. I expect this to be on game battles, so on and so forth. This is going to be the one competitive aspect of this game that I'm really, really looking forward to. And it happens to be my favorite one. Throughout the games that I've played throughout the history of FPS, you know, the games that I've always had a certain respect for. I mean, I love pub stomping and, you know, games that have domination, conquest, rush, and stuff like that. But games like this make you force you to make proper decisions, have experience in your belt, when to rush, when not to rush. I mean, do you risk dying right off the bat by surprising them? I mean, there's so many decisions to be made. Like right here, I knew a guy was pulling a flag, so I rushed into their area, potentially risking myself, but at the same time occupying them so he can completely run back the flag. A sleight of hand, if you will. So experience is going to be a big factor. So I can see people that absolutely are horrible players in a public setting and can't build streaks but do exceptionally well with teamwork in this one. Look at this guy. Slam that flag down. Merka. That's right. He knows. What's up? 
And that's what's so great about this is that the game could turn around. If I remember correctly, we played and they were up four to one to us. And we just picked up two points right there for capturing the flag. And that's what's going to be great. I mean, you could be down losing. And when the thing switches, you know you're down four points. They may take a round or two. You got to make sure you make those flag caps count. And it really brings this competitive edge to this game type. And that's what I absolutely love for Medal of Honor Warfighter. Now, as you guys can tell, it's been upgraded. I am playing on the PC. So visually, this game looks a lot better than what I experienced it on in the beta on Xbox 360. But I do expect to see a competitive side to this game. I would love to see this actually come out well. I'd like to see teams, game battles, competitions. Do I think it's going to be on the pro circuit anytime soon? No. But this is a great first attempt at a great game type. And it's going to be smart. You're going to have to decide where you want to put your defending players at um, when, when competitions come down to it. You're going to have to decide how you want to attack. You're going to take all you know six-year members and run right for one and leave the two guys that are unsuspecting over on the A flag while you all just straight trump out and overtake uh, the B flag. You're going to have to be smart. And you're also going to have to worry about what classes you want to use. It's going to be fully useful for this type of game type. You see me running the Spec Ops right now, and the reason for being is being able to see through the walls is an important aspect of this game, especially this game type. It's one of the best, most important classes in the game. What makes it so great on this is not only can you tell that kind of stuff, but it's going to help on 1v2 clutches, stuff like that. Knowing where the enemy is is going to give you an advantage. And it, it, it obviously counters the fire team kill buddy kind of thing, you know, when, when the enemy glows red, when he kills your teammate and stuff. So I think Spec Ops is a very, very essential class to this. But you're going to need to know how to balance these things out. Obviously, Demolitions is not going to be too important in this one because there are no bombs being planted and stuff like that so you're going to need to make sure you pick the class that works for you and again like i said this brings that competitive thing into it that i can't wait to see i can't wait to see if you know this becomes a popular thing but above all what i look at when i see this game type is i see that medal of honor is making an effort making a push danger close is trying to keep up and put themselves in the contending spot to show that, hey, we can do this kind of stuff that these other games have. We can come up with creative ideas. We can put it out there. We can try to get competitive. We can try to do all these things. And I really, really do admire the fact that they're stepping up, trying to appeal to all kinds of different people. As you can tell, this guy's running back his flag. You can see the flares hopping up and down, and that's basically where he's got to return the flag to. He's not paying attention. I mean, paying attention and calling out, you know, how many people have been dead. This is going to be a very competitive game type, much like Search and Destroy in Call of Duty. He tries to run for it. He notices the guy shooting at him. Gets clipped right before the end. So they did win that because they eliminated us. That puts them up to six points. We had seven overall because of the flag caps. Put us ahead. We won it overall. It was a great game. I had a lot of fun. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this gameplay footage. Knuckle pump. Good game, guys. Look at that mustache. What a porn star. So thanks for watching, guys. Check out Home Run. Hey, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Make sure you check out the recent video on the screen or be checking down in the description for it. It is a live commentary with me and a few other commentators, Andrew Zell and Mongol FPS. It's a funny live com. Enjoy it if you want to. Follow me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch to find out all the cool details around Medal of Honor and up to date with all the new videos coming out. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to leave a like and favorite. It helps out a lot, guys. Peace out. Get it.